Alrighty, so with the new update, we did get a new Tower of Trials floor. So we're on floor six now. And from my understanding, the team that you basically want to use is just a single person. So we're going to try that out really quick and see how it goes. We're just going to remove everybody from the team. Um, and I mean, I guess I'll put maybe Escanor because he'll give me the best stats. Um, well, maybe that wouldn't be the best. I don't know. Defense, stats, resistance. Yeah, I think we'll just keep Escanor. If I can't get any sort of like crit stuff, uh, we'll just keep it right here. So we're just going to go in with one singular unit. Obviously, we're going to be going second, so I don't know how that's going to work out. But uh, from my understanding, we did a stream earlier and everybody said that uh, they were using like Purgatory Bond and stuff like that. And he basically just wipes the entire team uh, very easily. So we're just going to hop in. We're going to use Sariel just as a baseline sort of character. We did get a uh, level two card, which is kind of nice. So as long as they don't just do like an absurd amount of damage, which it doesn't look like they're going to, they did seal our ultimate gauge, so we're not going to be able to ult, which is fine, I, I hope. All right, we're just going to pop two of these. All right, those guys are doing a pretty decent amount of damage right there, which I think he was type advantage. So obviously it doesn't tell you what any of them are. So we're just going to throw out these AoE. Ah, okay, so that definitely definitely is the strat that killed both of them. We took barely anything from the bleed damage here. She's going to use a couple of cards. Uh, actually, she wasn't going to use a card, so I'm just going to use the, the solo. There we go, 822,000 damage there, so that was pretty cool. Uh, she revived once, which is kind of unfortunate. If I would have been able to kill her in the first turn, we would have killed it there. But uh, really nothing to worry about here, so here's the debuff. She's going to put another bleed card on us. Uh, and then we're just going to use another Power Strike card, because why wouldn't we? No, that's 725,000 damage. She, it, I didn't kill her, though, so that's kind of unfortunate. If I would have got better merges and stuff like that, I probably would have killed. But it is what it is. You can see, honestly, pretty easy gimmick on this one. Literally just bring in one character. If they have really good AoE skills like Sariel does, you'll probably be able to kill both of the adds and stuff like that in one go. Um... I would imagine maybe if you're using like the one Escanor or something, for example, it's just going to take you like a couple more cards. So that way you have to hit single target each one, like each character and everything like that. But yeah, we get pretty decent rewards out of this one. You get a free, you know, 30 diamonds, which is good for like a multi summon or a costume uh, UR piece. Uh, and you get a, an SSR ticket for both of the part one and part two tickets. So that is pretty much it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Um, hopefully you guys are still having somewhat fun with this Tower of Trials. I'm still not the real biggest fan of it, to be honest. I kind of like the old Tower of Trials a lot better, but it is what it is. Thank you guys so much for watching. Feel free to subscribe for more content in the future, and I will see you guys in the next video.